Hey everybody. Hey. Um, Steve and Rini here with RV Site to Site and uh, we're glad you showed up today because we wanted to talk about some things that uh, we like about camping and uh, we're kind of glampers I would say uh, because we don't particularly like roughing it. Uh, I used to say uh, roughing up, my idea of roughing it was when a light bulb at the Holiday Inn was out. And so uh, uh, anyhow, over the years we've camped in many different fashions. Yes. Uh, we started off when we were very young, uh, yep. tent camping. And our creature comforts then was what? A fan yeah. and a blow up uh, mattress yeah well actually well, it was actually a uh, pool float pool or, float yeah, yeah like a river float yeah uh, no not many not people not anything had. fancy yeah, yeah that's right I don't even think they had back then <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't mattresses. even think they had air mattresses back then uh -huh. uh, and so um, we used that we had a fan we just hoped to have electricity and, and we sometimes moved, we didn't even have that. Moved up to a 35 foot. Well, yeah. Camper. Well, we had one in between. and had a little well, shaft. Well, that was the short. I mean, we uh, didn't have We didn't that. keep it very long. No. Uh, and, but the 35 foot we did. Our, oh, yeah. While we had our children, we were raising them. They were young. And then even as they got older and would t bring friends with us, um, we had that camper for a long time. We oh, yeah. really enjoyed that camper. Yeah. And now there weren't many creature comforts in that uh, actually. Uh, it didn't have any slides or anything no. like that on it. There it two was, bedrooms, yep. one bath. Two bedrooms, one bath, and uh, well, uh, the kids stayed outside playing all yeah. the time, so yeah. it didn't matter. So as we got older, uh, we decided we liked more creature comforts, and today uh, we would like to show you just some of those things uh, yeah. that we've added. That makes it a little com more comfortable. It really does. It really does. All right, so here we go. Let's play the intro. Now one of the things that I really like is the uh, Lux Bidet, the Neo 120, and uh, it's just, I'm telling you, if you ever use one of these things, it may be silly to you right now, but if you ever decide to use one of these things, you won't ever want to go back to the normal way. This makes you feel just about as sparkling clean as you possibly can. So this is one of my favorite things uh, in here. And uh, Rini says it's one of her favorites too. So uh, laugh all you want to, but try it out. You'll never, you'll never see it the same. The one complaint that I have is right here. It's so close to the wall. I had to move the thing over to the side just a little bit. Uh, I do wish that they would come up with one that was on the left side instead of the right side. And it certainly would uh, make things a lot nicer. Uh, I've thought about rotating the commode just a little bit and I think I did that one time before and I got no extra space there so anyhow uh, the Lux Bidet is one of our favorites. Now here's something that I figured out and I don't know if others have figured it out but every time we'd go down the road you know I'd use this this little um, organizer. organizer plate organizer and when we get somewhere, it was all, you know, had fallen, bumped off and fallen off. And so I thought, you know, oh, I just hate that. Now down here at the bottom, I have this stuff, the um, foam type stuff that holds it in place. And I've got some regular plates that I carry, just a few, and then some thin white paper plates. And I have that there. Then this and the bowls. I took off, I thought, you know, they just keep shifting off. And what I did, I took the bowls out and I put a bowl on there, whoops, with a uh, zip tie. And that keeps, well, not the bottom ones, it does, they stay in place, but it keeps the bowls from sliding and it keeps the plates from sliding. And so they sit there because they just fit right into the one below it 
and they don't budge when so we're traveling. So on the bottom one, what you did was put a, one things. plate there and got the zip, zip tie. tie under there. Mm -hmm. You can kind of see that. Yeah. And so that zip, that one plate there is always zip tied there. Right. And the rest of them are held in place with this. Yeah, and then this foam holds the, the regular plates in that form, that, uh, well, that's a good idea, and that's one of our favorite things. Yeah, yeah, it keeps it in place. They, they're not all over the place. They stay right there. Yeah. One of my favorite things is the ice maker. Uh, I love ice. Uh, we keep cold drinks in the refrigerator, uh, but it's just nothing like having ice in them. One time we went to Canada, and uh, we went to McDonald's, and they... Uh, when we went to the window to order our soft drinks, uh, they came out and it had not a drop of ice in it. It's full of Coke or Pepsi, whatever they served. And uh, we asked them, why didn't you put some ice in this? And they said, oh, you have to re request ice. Up here, We the people feel like that uh, it's uh, overcharge if uh, we put ice in their drink. And so, but anyhow, I like ice in mine. Uh, and it's getting ready to make some ice now, I think. Uh, it's You can see in there, it's working. I just turned it on, and uh, so it will drop the ice there. Well, I timed this perfectly. Uh, and then once it makes the ice, uh, it'll dump it into the tray. And the first batch of ice is kind of small. But it's nice size ice. It's nice size ice. Uh, you can actually choose small cubes, which are actually a little larger than that, and then the large cubes. Uh, but uh, it'll fill up this little tray really, really quickly. It, you, it makes ice faster than we can drink it. So uh, we really, really enjoy this. It makes uh, soft ice too. And it makes, yeah, sweat. I like the chew ice. Sometimes it's an irritant to some people, but I personally like to chew ice. And uh, so uh, this ice is perfect for that. It's nice and soft, uh, easy to chew. And so uh, this is one of my favorite things. Here is something that we really use uh, quite often. We don't have always have it out. Um, if it's real pretty and we're doing a lot of grilling outside, we may not use it as much, but it stores underneath the sink just fine. And you know, it can be out of the way or it can be, it's just really easy to use. Now I noticed that that pulled the tray out. Yeah, it looked like when it pulls you... the tray out and it's got all kinds of little um, features. Well, it's got all kinds of features. It's a convection oven and it'll bake and roast and broil and everything you need and um, keeps from heating up the uh, RV in the summer. And um, it just does a really, really good job. I think just about everybody in our family has got one. I mean, they're just really, really good. Now, items. there's one that came with the RV. Yeah, uh, this is the one that came. It's a convection uh, microwave. And it's pretty good. It seems to be a little bit, it, it's a little weaker than the one that we have in our home. It it's, cooks much slower. Um, but it does a pretty good job. It, you know, I use it some. Um, but I use this probably more and uh, you know we really like it. Our latest favorite thing is this uh, zero water water system and uh, it is fantastic uh, and so I'm gonna run a couple little tests I couldn't believe it actually so I'm gonna run a couple little tests to show you what I'm talking about. Now this is city water that I'm gonna put right here we'll give that a try now this is great value spring water from Walmart. And so I'm going to pour some of that in a cup. So this is supposed to be, this is supposed to be about as pure as you can get. All right, so now I'm going to get the zero water. All right, so that's the zero water. Mm -hmm. Let's put them right here. So we have zero, spring, and tap. All right, with, with the uh, system, they send a little tester here, 
and uh, you simply just turn it on and so let's take a look at tap water this shows 29 which has been run through a filter this right here shows 77 that's spring water from Walmart and this right here is zero water through the zero water filter I am pretty impressed and that came out of our tap water yeah this I mean, the water uh, in there went through that filter that's right we put the water in here uh, through we put it in right here mm -hmm. and it's draining in there right now and uh, we we put our tap water in here so you see the difference between the tap water and the zero water it takes out all the impurities we're impressed yes now one of the favorite things of ours is these TV ears you see them advertised on TV all the time well let me tell you we probably have 10 sets of these yeah throughout the house throughout the house uh, in my office of our bonus room and in here of course and uh, they are so nice to listen to TV uh, I've got a hearing deficit and so I was in the Air Force around loud airplanes for years and she doesn't have a hearing deficit no and so uh, anyhow normally I'd have to keep the TV a lot louder which would be uncomfortable for her and so we decided to start using these TV ears and it is one of our favorite things because at night when we're camping, of course in the daytime we like to be out and doing things, uh, we don't sit here all the time, but in the evenings it's so nice to sit here in front of the fireplace, especially in the winter time, and be watching TV uh, and uh, have, them co have it coming through. I can have it as loud as I want in my ears so I can hear it comfortably and she can have it turned wherever she wants. Yeah, I have it low, and but it's very, very clear. And so we don't have to have it blasting where it be heard all over the place. So yeah. it works really, really well. We really like them. And definitely one of our favorite things. Yes. All right, if you've ever watched some of our videos, you know that I installed a big, this is a 50 inch TV. Uh, it is a Vizio. Uh, I, the other TVs, I'm not sure if they would fit in this spot, and of course in your RV, I don't know how it's set up, uh, but I had a, the, it came with a little 42 inch TV here, and uh, I actually installed it outside and moved the one outside, put it in our bedroom. There was none in our bedroom. And this thing is very versatile. Uh, I, I can just pull it out and I can do anything I want to with it, yeah. like that. I've got little felt strips on the bottom right here so it doesn't mess up my cabinet. I keep the TV ears over here and so I can put this back here where I want. TV ears go right here and then the, uh, the uh, cabinet door is all open fine. Actually I have a printer back in here uh, and it's run by Bluetooth which works really well. And we keep our vacuum cleaner stuff in this one right here. But all these doors open fine uh, and I've had people tell me this is impossible. You can't put a 50 inch TV in here. Well, let me tell you, we put it in here and this definitely is one of our favorite things. Okay. One thing that we really enjoy is the coffee bar. And of course we put all our food up here and it holds a lot. But the thing that we enjoy so much is the Keurig uh, coffee maker. You know, you put your pod in there you can have your decaf like Steve likes most of the time. He'll drink one regular one in the morning. And then I have the French roast that I love that is, you know, high test coffee. It is really good. And I like it black and strong. And, uh... Well, why don't you go ahead and make yourself a cup? And then, well, let me get a fresh cup out our coffee bugs that we enjoy. Get that out. Put my favorite coffee in here. And I don't like any flavors in them. I like it. I think that's eight ounces. Eight or ten ounces. Ten. Okay, ten. But that's that's the size that I like. And first thing in the morning, 
this is what we put on and it smells so good it smells so good right now coffee on my mind and that's how it is in the morning so we really enjoy that we drink about three coffee cups that size in the morning she drinks all regular coffee the caffeinated and i drink one caffeinated and two decaf yep we had bought a new mattress to go in here it's a a, a silly posturepedic uh mattress that we bought to put on here and then of course we put this cover on it protect it and it's it zipped on it and um we really really enjoy and this mattress. cover right here came from where this cover came with the unit yeah. and i actually like it i tried several other uh ones and i came back to this because it's got the the corners that are sewn and it holds it in place and i had found some shams that match it and put some pillows in here like i like and um it's just really really sleeps well we the mattress that came with it was very thin. It was queen size, but it was uh, very thin. And so we knew right away we wouldn't like that. And so we took that one out and put this new one in here and it has been wonderful. We've really enjoyed it. Now, one thing that I had to do because uh, we had a thicker mattress is I had to move the headboard. I unscrewed it. It had several screws in it with little button protectors on it so I popped the button protectors off and I raised the uh, headboard uh, the little matted headboard there and then I also raised the shelf uh, right there uh, because I had to get it up higher since I had the uh, headboard up higher and uh, so we uh, I, I put them up to the bottom of those receptacles there it worked out really well and uh, then I also uh, Rini uh, she, uh, what we call it, velcroed those uh, things there. Yeah. So, well, the, uh, you know, the joy to the world. Yeah. Uh, that's velcroed there. And then, of course, and then we can put our phones up there at night and yeah. charge them up. It has the um, USB. USB above that little plaque there. Right. And then at each end, it has uh, plug ins like uh, this end I've got for some of these really, really quiet. Um, campsites that we go to I've got a noisemaker you know where I can have some white noise and uh, especially if we don't need air conditioning or heat on and yeah. uh, so that's real nice but that's nice to have those plugs right there and Rennie's got it decorated up for winter right now and yes. uh, we're getting ready to put our Christmas decorations up in, yep. in our camper one of the things uh, I guess one of the problems we have with this particular RV uh, it is really really laid out well except storage is somewhat limited and so we found something that is really really neat this doesn't take much room to store but it's like magic really it's very padded on the top you take this out from under this you open this up right here turn it over This goes down in here, like this. All right, so that's like that, right here. Yeah. And this fits on top of it. And you know what's nice about this? It's not only storage, It makes a really nice footrest. Well, and the kids have used it to sit on too. When yeah. uh, the grands have come over and there's plenty of them around that they just sit right there on that and it's comfortable. And I have two of them. And yeah, uh, we keep one right here at the end of under the counter and we actually have some things stored in it. And so things that we want to keep handy. And then if we don't want those in here, um, we can just fold that up if it's in the way. We can just put that away and uh, put it right back where it was beside the chair, stored by, beside the chair. Both of them will fit over there. So just fold it back up, put it like that. 
and then it fits right over there beside the chair. There you go. Yep. One of our trips, uh, well, let me go back a little bit. I had installed this hat rack right here and uh, it was uh, really, really nice. Uh, I had put all my hats on there and I actually have more than that. But uh, while we were tra traveling the last trip, uh, the uh, rack fell down and uh, I had it up here. You can't hardly see anything because it's just a blank wall right now. But I'm going to show you what I did. It's just a little unorthodox, but it works. I'm going to put this up here. All right, we'll put one hat on here just to make sure we got enough room for him to hang. Mm -hmm. so, up high, a little higher. Huh? A little higher. Right there. Right. Yeah, because it was up high. Does that yeah. look good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's about centered over the window. Yeah, you need to go over a little bit to your right. Well, let's see. Okay. Let me see. I can't quite tell. Is it level? Yeah, I think so. All right, so that's level. Well, okay. <laughs> All right, so now you see I've got my strips up here. So I know about where they're supposed to go. I'm going to move this one over just a little bit, straighten it up some. All right, so what I've got to do, I've got a stapler, uh, just like I used to build these RVs, and uh, I've had to repair a few things with that. So I'll put one staple here and one staple here, and that will hold the rest of them. I just have to make sure this one's connected really good and uh, that one. So uh, once I do that, then uh, this thing will stay there forever. <laughs> All right, so what I do, I, I have this, I think it's a Roberts uh, staple gun, one of the best I've ever seen. A guy that lays carpet told me about it. And so I just do that and one here. And that one's never going to fall. So then I put, make sure I have these lined up good. About right there, is that about where it was? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the right side is lower, yeah. Okay. Okay. What I have to do. Okay, there we go. Okay. Some of them might hang a little lower because you might have them stretched out a little yeah. bit more. Okay, so there we go. That's good and solid now. Yep. All right, what I'm gonna do, I cut this piece of, actually it's a piece of foam board. We don't like it when at night, uh, we're maybe getting dressed, bright light in here, and you can see through these things. That's just all there is to it. I mean, I can see my vehicle out there. And so, we, uh, we like a little privacy. So, what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm going to take these little uh, felt dots and I'm going to put it right here. Okay, I'm going to put another one right here. Come on. Now these are not the essentials. These are not the things that we make us glampers. <laughs> uh, but these are things that just make us feel more comfortable. So take this. And I put it right up here. Can you see that okay? Mm-hmm. Alright, and so I put this right here so it fits right in there. And once I get in in position here, I can stick it just like that. And people can't see through that. Gives us total privacy. 
yep. in here. And then when I want to remove it, let's see if it works. There you go. We like lamps that make us look like we're at home. And so we were originally were going to have to put these things up and down. But what I did, I put Velcro strips, real strong Velcro strips here. It's actually held by uh, the command tape, uh, command Velcro. And so I have Velcro on the bottom of the lamp and Velcro on the table. And of course, uh, those can be easily removed if I need to. Uh, but uh, this lamp right here and uh, the other one uh, has never fallen. And so during all of our trips, uh, we don't put them up or anything. We just leave them sitting right there and it works fine. We never had them fall. It's uh, one of our favorite things here is to wake up and see these beautiful lamps on just like home. Well, I hope you enjoyed our uh, video about our creature comforts and the things that we really, really like and uh, some of our very favorite things. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, around Christmas you sing about these are some of my very favorite things. Uh, well, some of these that were... That was in Sound of Music. <laughs> Well, it sounds like Christmas for me. <laughs> I don't keep up with these movies. Uh, and Sound of Music was a long time ago. Uh, but uh, anyway, um, uh, to sum it up, uh, what was your favorite thing? One of your favorites. Just one of your favorites. My... Not the, oh, not the utmost favorite, but one of your... Not the utmost? Uh-huh. Um, let me think. Well, the bed. Yeah, I think the bed, it's really comfortable. It, it makes it it's like just, home. I mean, it's, it's just like home. Yeah, it, and, it sleeps uh, really well. Yeah, yeah. so ours, uh, we really, really like it. Uh, we have a king at home with basically the same type of mattress on it. And uh, this is a queen, not quite as big, but Still it, it feels really just good. like it. Yeah. And uh, so we do like that. Um, but uh, to top it off, I think we've talked about what our very, very, what could we just not do without? And I think, what was it? It was the coffee maker. <laughs> the coffee maker. <laughs> we, get, we can't do without coffee. I mean, if we had to drag out the old floats and sleep on them, we could do yeah, that, but not right. do without coffee. That's right. We so. do love coffee. <laughs> and uh, coffee starts and makes our day. Yep. So. Anyway, that's uh, just some of the things. Uh, uh, we'll put a link down below to some of these things, maybe as many as we possibly can. Uh, obviously, you can't order a, a mattress on Amazon. Well, you can, but uh, not the type that we have on Amazon. Uh, but uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. Yes. Uh, right at this very point right now, uh, we hit 100,000 views today. Uh, on our channel so we're very uh, thankful for that yes, and also are. thankful for the 1100 subscribers that we, we have are. thankful for we every are. single one of you yes and so we hope uh, that you if you're not subscribed yet that you'll go ahead and subscribe and we'd love to have you on board our channel as we uh, check out campgrounds and uh, add new things to the RV maybe a couple more creature comforts yeah and uh, so until then we'll see you on the next video bye bye, bye, -bye. Let it go, pay my